As expected, Apple has just released the seventh beta of iOS 26, and now we're getting very, very close to the final release of iOS 26 to the public. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that is new with iOS 26 beta 7. But before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you watch the videos and you find them helpful, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps helps out a lot. Now let's get started first of all with the size of the update. As you can see right here, the update is actually quite big, even though on beta 7 it's still over 9 gigabytes right here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is very unusual. Every beta of iOS 26 has actually been really big on size. Now what's really interesting is the new build number for iOS 26 beta 7. As you can see, it ends with an A, meaning that this is one of the final releases of the betas for iOS 26. Usually one ending with an A will be the last one, but I do believe that there will be another one before the RC. So 23 a 5326 a is a new build number for iOS 26 beta 7. So what is new with this update? Well, of course, we're getting now closer to the final release and there will be not a lot of new features added. Here's one that has been added with this update. So you head on to your settings. Once you go onto the battery section, if you go to power mode right here, you will have the adaptive mode. And if you have that enabled, now you will be able to also have power adaptive power notifications meaning that once it's active it will actually send you a notification letting you know that actually adaptive power is working Apple also has made another change to the control center. As you probably know, and if you have been following these beta releases, they are adjusting all the time here, the blur and the darkness of the control center. Now it's actually a bit darker with this update. And in my opinion, this is what it should be. It actually looks really good and it's way easier to actually just see everything that is on your control center. Also, Apple has fixed the screenshots that actually have been broken with the last beta. So now when you take the screenshot, you can see the colors are normal as they should be. They are not darkened. As you probably know, with the last beta, it will just show some really dark colors, which actually make them not useful at all. Also, the blood oxygen readings are now available with this beta. So they have been actually fixed. There was a fix also for other devices, not on iOS 26 with iOS 18.6.1. Now that update has been added to this update as well. So these are the new features that have been added to iOS 26 beta 7 that we have been able to find until now. Hopefully there will be more, but again, getting very close to the final release don't expect a lot of new features so even though we have this update ending with an a on the build number i do expect another beta and that will most likely be released a week from now on the 25th of september and then there will be a week pause and on the 8th or the 9th whenever the uh, the iphones event will be that will be the day that apple also releases the rc version before releasing ios 26 to the public which most likely will be september 15th so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button if you did subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one